Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. Today, we will be looking at how to set up your voicemail greetings in your Microsoft Team. This is a cool feature. Students can actually call you on your desktop and they can leave a message. You can come back and take a look at the message the next day or whenever you are available. That way, students don't have to know your number, but you are available to them any time of the day. Isn't that cool? So without a further you let's go ahead and jump right in so what you do to set up your voicemail is you will go to your right hand corner and click on the image and you will scroll down to your settings once you get to your settings you will click on calls option and here you will see various options on how to handle your incoming calls do you want calls to ring or you want the calls automatically to be forwarded to your voicemail that's totally your call and if unanswered, it will go to your voicemail. But before it goes to your voicemail, how long do you want it to ring? 10 seconds, 20 seconds, or 60 seconds? So just for today, I'm going to go ahead and pick 30 seconds so it's not too soon and it's not too long. And once you do that, you can go ahead and actually set up your ringtone. How do you want your ringtone to be? Do you want it to be a default? Do you want it to bounce? I'm going to go ahead and play it. So that's how it's going to sound. This is your bop. I'm going to go ahead and play it. You can pick, you have various options, high score, but you can go ahead and pick whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and keep it to bop for now. And then the coolest feature is configuring your voicemail. So what you do is you go ahead and click on it. And then it gives you an option to record your greeting. And again, you have various options call answering rules how do you want to do that do you want the callers to record a message or let the callers record a message or be transferred to someone else if you are in director or you're out of office and you want somebody else to take your calls you can go ahead and do that as well end the call without playing your greeting play your greeting and end your call these are all different options that are available to you but i will go ahead and select let the caller record a message and then your greeting language is definitely in English. If you want to go ahead and change text to speech, you can go ahead and do that. And you also have an option to pick out of office greetings. I'm not going to pick this for now. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to record a greeting. So you will simply go ahead and press record greeting. And you will see that it's connecting to your PC and speaker. So listen to your voice message. And then Microsoft will automatically prompt you what to do. It's going to go ahead and say, let me go ahead and show you the keypad. It's going to go ahead and say, press 1 if you want to record your greeting, press 2 to listen, just like how you set up your regular cell phone voicemail. And once you are happy with your greeting, you will simply go ahead and press hang up. And now you have your voicemail ready to go. So when it, every time a caller calls you and you're not available, they will directly hear your voicemail and your private greetings that you have set up. And if you want to check your voicemail, you will go to your call section in your me space and simply click on calls. And here you have your tab for your voicemail. As of now, I don't have any voicemails, but if you do, you will simply see an option to play it and delete it right here. I really like this feature. I enjoy this and hope you do too. Hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget to put them in the comment section below and happy teaching.